Hunt Fish Shoot out here with you today. Got a little unboxing video for you of the Monster Bass monthly subscription box. This one, what I decided to do was a three month subscription of it. Uh, it's going to be usually, I think it was about a hundred bucks. They had a 10% off coupon for it, so it ran down about 90 bucks. I did three months. Um, this is the regional pro box for the Great Midwest and Great Lakes. So we'll open this up today and, and see what we got. All right, show us your bass. A little something similar to Mystery Tackle Box that I've done in the past there with that. And then uh, has some stuff in here at Monster Bass written in there for you. We know bass. And then this will open of the box, show you what that looks like inside. And we'll go through some of these baits that they've given me today. All right, let's see. First thing we got here is a uh, stick worm, like your uh, Sanko type bait. It's gonna be a Bruiser Baits Black Purple Tip Worm. So really popular here in Ohio for some of the darker water that we get. Uh, Lake Erie could, wouldn't be too bad with this purple Sanko. Um, but not bad again. I've never really heard of bruiser baits personally, but let's keep seeing what we go through here, see what we got. Another one, you guys, a Lunker Hunt um, popper. Looks like just your silver shad. They call it Night Rider as a color on that. 7 16 ounce one, so zero foot. This is great bait for Ohio. It works very well in the summertime. Uh, it looks like we got some Daiichi drop shot rocking hooks. So got a little Jimmy Houston on the front there with it. Uh, I've never seen these drop shot hooks, but it's kind of nice because actually the way it's shown is that when you tie it up, it's going to show it so your, your drop shot hook lays flat instead of you know dangling upside down or whatever it might be. So it helps you out a little bit there. So then that is, you get four of them in that pack. Next thing you got here is a War Eagle spinner bait. Uh, I love War Eagle. Probably my favorite spinner baits that you know is out there on the market. They make really good stuff. Um, a little bit more expensive than most of them, but I think they're worth every penny. This is a three eighths ounce in the mouse color. Uh, looks like it's got willow and a Colorado blade on it. So great bait again, uh, especially pre-spawn right now. Not a bad bait. And then right here we got a, uh, a bomber. It's a fat free family and it looks like your fire crawl type color or tiger perch is what they call it uh freshwater but uh this one here it's showing it is a b it's a bomber ff guppy and showing four to six foot cranking depth on it nice little bait there um up at lake erie pre-spawn spawn time the smallmouth they just they smash these fire crawl or tiger perches they're calling this one so the largest smallmouth i actually caught was on a bomber um Bomber A crankbait, and that was in a crawl dad color. So here's a river to sea. So we got a river to sea uh, rattle trap, your lipless crankbait, uh, ruckus. And this one is going to be a three quarter ounce bait on that. Uh, and it just looks like a sexy shad type color. Uh, I do like that. I like that color a lot. So this nice cover, start grass starts coming in here. How water temps right now, we got 53 degrees today, so it's still a little chilly. And you got a drop shot bait. Looks like it's a spade tail green pumpkin candy eight count on the spot baits. Uh, scented and floating. Nice little looking uh, green pumpkin colored bait or watermelon candy, I think they call it, or green pumpkin candy. Uh, great color on that. I mean, that's wonderful up there for smallmouth again in Ohio. Um, heck, you'll catch largemouth on that through a drop shot. And obviously, they gave you the hooks here with this today, too. So, nice looking bait there. And the last thing we got is another set of uh, stick baits, your Sanko type baits. It's uh, Z Man Zinkers. And then this one is going to be Mud Bug, the color. So, in a way, kind of similar color wise. I mean, it's not a whole lot different than this Bruiser. I mean, it's not purple, obviously, but it's another dark color. It's got some, looks like copper colored fleck in it. And uh, I like, I do like Z Man stuff a lot. You can get a lot of catches out of their stuff. So, good, good quality products. So. And the last thing it looks like we've got in here is a, a sticker. But I guess you say quote unquote swag, but Monster Bass sticker here for you. And then uh, let's see if there's anything else in here. Nope, that's it. Uh, let's see what they got in the bottom here. Bucket mouthed, hooked on bass, community, regionalized, best catch monster bass. So a lot of great baits in here. Uh, that looks like they decided to give, you know, the bomber. I really like this one, probably my most favorite out of the box I pulled out, other than the, that War Eagle spinner bait popper. I'm um, not, not a huge fan of the Lunker Hunt popper. 
uh, baits that they make. I, I do like this original Rebel Pop R's and then also your Storm. They make a really great popper as well. And drop shot hooks, I'll probably have to give these a try this summer. Uh, a little different. I mean, really at the end of the day, as long as you try your drop shot hook, this isn't really necessary. But aside from that, I mean, it certainly makes it easy. I've never seen this actual drop shot before. But, and obviously your Sanko type baits, you really can't ever have too many of your soft stick baits, Sanko type baits, whether your Wacky Rig, Nico Rig, whatever it might be. Really great options. And then lipless crankbait, another one, shad color, can't ever go wrong with that. I mean, really it works in tons of different watercolors. So, and then we got that, like I said, those drop shots. I like the little paddle tail on there, that's, or spade tail as they're calling it. I really have come to like missile baits that got their, uh, oh, what's it called now? Heck, I can't remember, but anyway, it's got a little paddle on it. And I've used that for the Ned Rig and whatnot, and I do like it a lot. So this one here, this is great, throw that on the drop shot. Uh, overall, I mean, it seems like a good value. River to Sea makes good baits. Um, Bomber as well, War Eagle. So I'd say, you know, in this box, there's 30 bucks worth of stuff in here. A um, couple, I guess you say off-brand stuff that you don't generally see a lot. But other than that, I mean, initial quality, you know, if I'm comparing it to the the six cents box, probably not the same amount of money, I guess you could say, just because those crankbaits and stuff like that, they can get pretty expensive. But overall, I mean, I definitely am pretty happy with this. Uh, not, a, I like I said, in the past, I've gotten the mystery tackle box stuff before. Uh, not a whole lot different than that. Uh, they don't have any of the stuff that those brands that Mystery has. So I do like this. First impressions, I like it a lot. I think it's a pretty cool box. So we've got a couple more of these coming. This We did the three month subscription, and uh, we'll see what we get out here. Uh, if you do like what you're seeing today, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, keep watching for further content. 